Hi, Megan. Hello, how are you? There you are. Good, how are you? Pretty good. It's a beautiful day. I know that you have a lot going on with your whole book series even, but specifically with The Thief and what's happening with um, the sales of that. Can you just explain to me how this kind of got on your radar? So I, I got um, an email a few days ago from somebody who lives up the street saying, hey, this was in my feed this morning. Um, and what a hoot to see a neighbor uh, on, on TikTok. And, uh, and then I started to, to get more and more people sending it to me saying, hey, look, you're on, you're on TikTok. Um, but I, I truly did not understand the, the breadth of coverage of that one TikTok video until you contacted me and asked for an interview. Uh, I don't have TikTok. Um, and so what I mostly have seen is just that one clip and maybe a couple of others. And, um, I did know a little bit about TikTok in particular about book talk. And one of the things that I have heard that I really like is that they, the people who are on book talk and are talking about books there are often talking about older ones. Most of the coverage that you get in the literary world, the book world, the children's book world is of books that are brand new. And um, I don't know why, but evidently book talk is talking about books that might be five years old or 10 years old or in my case, almost 25 years old. That's how long it was ago when I wrote The Thief. So the, what they told me was that The Thief and a few other books that they mentioned sold out nationwide. Um, really? yeah. Did you not know that? No, I didn't know that. I yeah, had, and, I, and I, I don't know if the, if the thief is one of them, but a couple of them had to go into reprint because they've sold. I mean, this video has fourteen million views. Um, That's what I learned yesterday. That the video has fourteen million views. Um, I think that the the most wonderful thing here is that uh, you have people who love books and have this outlet where they can talk to fourteen million people about a book they love. And um, I think that's probably the most wonderful part about the 14 million views is that the ability to share something you love with other people who will also fall in love with it is, uh, it, I just think it's amazing. They're getting people, publishers and, and authors saying, hey, will you talk about this book? And, um, but what's great is it's all just, you know, not to be cliche now, but organic in the sense that these are, these are their personalities and I've just met, met those people at Schuller Books and they're so exuberant about books. Um, I, think which is, so. I think that's really what showed, shown through uh, in that video was that this was somebody who was truly excited yeah. about books. And I can't imagine how wonderful it must be to have a local bookstore like that, where you could go and yes, you see them on, on Book Talk, but I, the best thing about having those people in your community is that you can go and talk to them yourself about any books that you might be interested in. And now with Book Talk, you can see that um, people all over the world can have that kind of a relationship with a bookseller in Grand Rapids, Michigan. So when you wrote The Thief, um, the internet was still like a new kind of a thing, a, a world that we were all getting used to at that time. What is it like for you as an author to know that this forum that you really haven't even like acquainted yourself with to, to, in terms of TikTok is selling books to millions of people? Uh, you know, it's wonderful and terrifying at the same time because um, there have been so many changes since I wrote The Thief. When I wrote The Thief, it was published in 1996, and that was before TikTok, um, Facebook, um, before Twitter, before Tumblr, almost before any of these things on the, any of these on the internet communities. Uh, back when I wrote The Thief, you were lucky if you got a professional review and you might get the thoughts of three or four or five people 
who read your book and told you what they thought of it. And then over the years, that number has just expanded and expanded and expanded. And it's a wonderful thing that you can see um, what people think of your book, what so many different people think of your book. But it comes with uh, this, uh, this very steep learning curve. You, you learn this platform and then you learn the next platform and then you learn the platform after that. And on the one hand, they're all wonderful. And I derive so much information and entertainment and stimulation from all of them. And all of that stimulation feeds my creativity, but it can be very difficult to shut down the stimulation and the input and have a quiet space in my head in order to write books. So on the one hand, I love the, the internet and everything that it brings me. And on the other side, I have learned that I have to be very careful to manage and to choose what platform I'm going to interact on for fear that I'll spend all of my time really enjoying myself online and not enough time writing a book. It's a rabbit hole for sure. <laughs> well, I, I hope you find that nice quiet space to write your next book. And I look forward to the Disney series as well. Thank you. Yes, we're all very, very excited about the, the possibility of a movie and being able to see the people that we've imagined in our heads for all of these years represented on a screen. Is it scary to you to wonder, okay, what are they going to do with these characters and storylines? No, it's really not because I have a lot of faith in the people that I chose to sell this property to. Um, they, they came to me, they seemed like the kind of people that I can trust. Um, but beyond that, I think it, I don't remember now what author said when somebody came to them and said, oh, these people, they're going to ruin your book. Um, nothing will ruin the books. The books are right there on the shelf. They're always going to be right there on the shelf. I created what I wanted to create. And now it's perfectly okay to let someone else take what I've created and make their own creation out of it. 